right now let's build an invoice processing or invoice extraction model this is going to be a lot of fun and this is we're going to be building and training our own model in this video and let me remind you we are doing an automation course and we're going to learn how to use ai to automate more of the things that we want to do so we can start with an invoice processing for and i can use it directly here in a flow i can see and try it out how it works so what it is going to do it is going to automatically try to find different values inside of uh, inside of the forms but this is not what my form looks like let's say that i have different forms and i would like to train this model so that it recognizes forms from my suppliers maybe my suppliers have a specific type of form that looks completely different from anybody else's form so i want to start from scratch i want to create a new model but i'm not just going to create a new model i'm going to build on top of microsoft model so what i need is five invoices from my supplier or five invoices that i want to analyze and extract information from so let's get started and let's name this ai model so we're going to be building a new ai model and i'm going to call this model invoices invoice ai model so let's create this model this will take a couple of minutes to create the model so what we are doing right now we are asking microsoft power automate to create a custom model that we can train with information microsoft power automate is going to take care of everything from training to posting to uh, deploying and accessing giving us access to our model so let's start so the first thing that we need to do is we need to add a couple of fields so we need to add what kind of fields we want to extract from our uh, from our invoice let me show you the invoice that we are going to be using this is one of the invoices that we're going to be using so we want to extract probably the date we want to extract the invoice number we want to extract the address and some of these amounts maybe total and that's and the customer id all right so let's insert this information right here so we need a field so let's add the field so we want invoice number let's add a field all right let's add another field so what do we want we want a address so or how about location let's add a customer id we can also extract a table so let's try to extract a table as well from an invoice so that we can have a summary so let's select this table let's take a look at the invoice one more time and see what it looks like so we have a description and a price so let's extract those two fields a description and a price so this is going to be a description And right here we are going to have the price all right now we have everything we can move on to training our model or giving it some examples so let's create a new collection and let's add some invoices to our collection so that we can uh, so that power automate can start learning how to train so let's add some documents and the minimum amount of documents that we need is five documents so let me go to my folder and i will select training documents i have these five training documents that i will upload inside of power automate so let's go back to our flow And let's upload these documents so let's find where we are saving them right here all right we have uploaded these documents these documents are going to be used by microsoft power automate to train and to learn where the data is located so that when we receive a different invoice from this is supplier one a different invoice that looks 
completely different than these, well, not completely different, but it has different structure, more lines, different locations of different things, it is still going to be able to recognize, uh, recognize the text. Let's add another supplier. So let's add one more supplier. So in this case, we are adding supplier two. Let's add supplier two with these five invoices. So again, we are adding five documents, which is the minimum amount of documents for Power Automate to learn where the different elements are on the web page. So let's close this. Let's rename this into supplier two. And let's proceed. Let's go on to the next step. Now we have to train our documents. So let's click on supplier one. And now let's flag the different elements on the page where they are so the Power Automate can identify them automatically. So let's select the invoice number. All right, so invoice number is right here and we're gonna select this or we're gonna call it like this and we're gonna select invoice number. Next, the location. So we're gonna get all of this. How about this is the location? So this is going to be the location. And then the date is going to be, this is going to be the date. The total we have it right here. So this is going to be the total. And this table that we have right here. So let's select these two. This is going to be our summary table. That is perfect. So right here, this is going to be the description. And this is going to be the price. This is going to be the description. And this is going to be the price. Excellent. Let's click on save. And like this, we have saved a table as well. All right. Now let's repeat the same process for the next document. So we have to do the same thing for the next document. So we have to take this and tell it that it's a date. Tell it that this is a location. This is a invoice number. And this right here is the total. This is the table, the summary table. So let's add a description and let's add one more description. So it is pretty fast to do this and I just have to do it on five documents. After I've done it on five documents, I can uh, already utilize it inside of my flows and it can be considered that it has been trained already. So this is the date. Six hours later. And now I have completed with all of the fields. Now that I have done this, I can go back and I can repeat the same thing with supplier two. So let's. Several months later. So let's select the last piece of information, which is the invoice number. And now we are done. We can go on to the next step. The next step is going to be to train our model and then we will be able to use it. So this will take a couple of minutes. So let's take a couple of minutes and wait for our model to train. All right, the model has finished training. Now we can use it inside of our flows or inside of our apps. All right, this is the model that has been created for us and it has been deployed. Now the next thing that we should do is we should publish our model. So we can publish it so that once we publish it, we can use it inside of Power Automate and we can use it inside of Power Apps. So we will be able to create a new flow and utilize our model instantaneously inside of our flows. Let's run a quick test and see if the trained, uh, if we can use a test image and extract the information. So let's select this image. Let's copy and paste it. Now it, the image is running on top of our model and it's extracting the information. So it has found this information as the location, this as the date, this as the invoice number, this as the summary, and this as a total. We also see a confidence score of almost 99%, which is pretty sure. And we can also check another, uh, another uh, we can also make another test from the other supplier that we have. So we have this other supplier right here, so we can test them as well. So let's test their invoice. This invoice is 
a handwritten scanned invoice so it should be more complicated to extract the information and let's see if this is going to function and extract all the information so it found this 91 percent sure it found this 99 percent sure and the total in the end and the table as well so that is how easy it is to create a custom flow that we can utilize immediately inside of our process 